the initial impulse for a concert rose out of a simple idea to take Tommy Potts' 1972 album, The Liffey Banks, and basically to dance the album. I was attracted to Potts and his music for several reasons. There just seemed to be a general consensus that his music wasn't suitable for dancing to. It doesn't fulfill that regular function of traditional music for a dancer. The beat isn't steady. The phrasing is really confounding and confusing. The fact that you need to be really engaged with Potts' music really kind of drew me to it. The process has been really kind of fascinating in getting to know this music intimately in a way. To get to know it through listening, to get to know it in the mind, in the brain, and then to get to know it physically. The first developmental period on concert was in September 2015. I had a residency at the Centre National de la Danse in Paris, and I worked there with Sinead Roche for a week. And Sinead was the first person I really kind of shared the idea with. She's been a long-term collaborator with me. She directed Out of Time. We know each other really well. We have a really good uh, shorthand means of communication with each other. And Potts music requires a completely different sense of engagement, a completely different sense of listening, and a completely different sense of physical availability. How can we bring this music and the presence of Potts into the space so that we can get maybe as close to it as possible? Mel Mercier is sound designer on concert. The first discussion we had was regarding how do we really bring these recordings, how do we play these recordings? How do we deliver them into the space? If I was going to re-engage with traditional dance music again, this music was the one to really engage with, um, and Putz was the, was the psychological figure to kind of engage with as well, I think. We hear and see the music through my engagement with it, through my meeting with his music, that feels like a huge responsibility.